Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Actor John Belushi, who created a cult following on the hit television program Saturday Night Live, is dead. The Salters and Roskin Public Relations Agency, which represented the star, made the announcement late this afternoon in Los Angeles. One of the staff of the agency confirmed the death by saying, yes, he's dead, he died here. Belushi had been a successful actor with Chicago's Second City comedy troupe, but really hit the big time when he became part of the Not Ready for Primetime Players on the late-night NBC television program. In recent years, he has devoted his career to movies, among them Animal House and Neighbors. We reached Louis Grossberger, author of a Rolling Stone profile on Belushi. Mr. Grossberger, yes. this is a very sad day. Yes, it is. Do you know what happened? No, uh, no one here uh, seems to know yet. Uh, there are, uh, are no confirmed details, uh, only rumors, so I, I don't think it's uh, wise to, to uh, say anything until the news comes out. Was this expected in any way? Had he been in poor health? Is there any explanation? None that I know of. In fact, uh, when I did my story on him in September, just the opposite was true. He uh, felt that he was in the, the best shape he'd been in in several years and that he'd put several personal problems behind him and uh, seemed very optimistic and uh, energetic. How do you assess his contribution? Well, I think he was a very funny actor, and uh, uh, there aren't uh, that many of them around. Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know if you have to go beyond that. He entertained a lot of people and made a lot of people laugh, and that's, that's something that's rare. In a distinctive way, would you say, if you, if you had to sit down and, and write something about him now, what would you, what would you write? Well, it's uh, kind of difficult, but he, he broke in on Saturday Night Live with a group of young, talented people who did something very different that, that no one else was doing at the time, a kind of contemporary satire. And it was very fresh, and he was uh, a major part of that. And, uh, he was kind of the wild man of the group. He was, his was a very liberating, uh, crazed sense of humor. That, that seems kind of strange to, to talk about that with him dead, but uh, that's what he was about. He could uh, kind of uh, run amok and let, uh, let everything go, and, uh, and uh, the, the walls would fall down. And uh, that, was, that was what Belushi was all about at his best. What's what's the impact been of what he did? What was what was his influence? Would you say? I mean, it's really difficult to say. Uh, he was pretty young, really, and uh, his career had uh, had just started. He had just gotten into movies. I guess made four or five, and uh, had a lot a uh, lot of movies to go. He was starting to branch out and play, uh, reach out for different kinds of roles. Uh, his his last few roles had been a departure from from the usual Belushi style, more quiet, more dignified, if you will, kind of comedy. So it's, it's really uh, impossible to say when someone when, you know, young dies what, uh, what his you know, impact will be. Yeah, so unfinished. What, was, what would he be best remembered for? Well, I, I would think probably his, uh, his work on Saturday Night Live and for the, the Blues Brothers, that, uh, the two characters he created with Dan Aykroyd, which were both on that show and, and were a, a successful movie. I think people will probably tend to remember him for that. Does Canada's SCTV, which is, which is starting to make uh, some name for itself now, it, owe anything to him, do you think? Um... Well, he was a, a part of, he came out of the second city in Chicago, and it's all, it's all kind of related. He was, was one of the people who came out of the second city, and another branch of it, of course, went to Edmonton and, and began doing the SCTV show. So he was, he was involved in that. And I don't know if he was uh, really an, an innovator um, or, or a creator. He was just a very good uh, comedic actor. 
And uh, I, sh I should also mention, uh, to your last question, Animal House, which was probably his most successful movie and uh, that perhaps made him known to uh, uh, still a wider uh, audience. Yeah. You mentioned Dan Aykroyd, and, and they were very close. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see Aykroyd continuing? Well, I think uh, they, they worked uh, quite a bit on their own as, as well as uh, together, so they weren't, uh, uh, you know, I, I imagine he's, he, he will go on as he has before and uh, continue making movies. But, of course, I can't speak about the, the personal relationship. Yeah. The role that he played in Animal House, I wonder if you think it reflected in any way his, his personal life and... You did mention some personal problems. Whether you think that's got anything to do with, with this sudden death? Well, you, you re I really can't speculate because I just don't know what caused his death. Uh, he, he was known to, to be a, a, a hard partying uh, fellow. And uh, when I talked to him in September, he told me that that part of his life was uh, something he was bringing to an end because uh, it, it had caused too many problems for him. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure, like all... All actors put uh, something of, of themselves into the role, but it's hard to, to separate and say how much of him was uh, was an animal house. Of course, it was a broad picture, kind of a cartoon, really. But there was, you know, perhaps a, a taste of, of uh, the real Belushi in there. How much is hard to say. You wouldn't want to speculate whether he was taking drugs recently or not. No, of course not. I, I have no idea. Mr. Grossberger, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sorry to have this sad occasion to talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Louis Grossberger, who recently wrote a profile on actor John Belushi. He spoke to us from New York.